Hey there friends, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make a basic line graph within numbers on your Mac. Super easy process, let's do it right now. Okay, so we are using a very simple spreadsheet to do this tutorial. What we're going to have these numbers represent is the specific months and then let's say sales totals for those specific months. Now again, this is data that would look really great in a line format so you can kind of see the outline of what a typical maybe half year would look like. So in order to do a line graph, what we're going to do is actually highlight the data that we want to be graphed out for us. In this case, I'm going to start and by clicking on this top cell right here where January is. I'm just going to drag this down and make sure I have all of these cells highlighted. Once I release the keypad, you can see that this box now encompasses our numbers. This is the data we want graphed. Again, if we had other numbers over here, you can make this drag out and encompass all of those. Once you've highlighted the data we want graphed, we're going to come up here to this little chart button. I'm going to click on it. Okay, from here we have a bunch of fun, different opportunities for making visualizations. Again, if you're wanting to do a line graph, you can come down to this section right here. I'm going to go ahead and click on this guy. And as you can see, below our table, down in the white background section, our graph has showed up. And you can see the highest peaks and lows for the first half of the year here. Now at this point, this graph can actually be moved around simply by clicking on it and dragging it. We can move it up here closer to our data if we wanted to, just so it fits a little bit more within our presentation. We can also create another tab and have this graph show up on that tab. Let me show you a couple of the other options really quick that you have for these line graphs. We're going to come up here on the chart again. I'm going to actually click on 3D because there's some really fun things that you can do by clicking on the 3D option. It just gives a little bit more of a fun visual way of seeing this data. Let's try one more with the 3D line graph here. And as you can see, it comes up with some shadowing. It looks like just a little bit more robust when you're showing these numbers potentially to somebody else. Friends, that's a really quick way of doing a basic line graph. I hope it's helped. Get creative with this, have fun with it. I'm sure there's a lot more questions you may have for specific things and making graphs within numbers. If you have those questions, go ahead and plug them in on the comment section. We do our best to answer those. Hit that thumbs up button if this has helped and subscribe because we got a bunch more tutorial videos for numbers that are coming up really, really soon. Thanks so much for watching.